Hello guys, my name is Bella. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my co-wash day routine for my transitioning hair. I am currently transitioning. I have not gotten a relaxer in like nine months, almost a year. We're coming up on a year soon and today is wash day. It is very late in my wash day. Usually I do this early and I just got lazy today, but I'm not going to skip a wash day because I've been doing so well taking care of my hair. And since we are in the middle of this ridiculousness, I have all the time in the world. So today I'm just gonna take you guys through my hair routine, what I do on my days where I'm just co-washing my hair. I'm very new to this. I just decided that I was transitioning like two months ago. So forgive me if I don't do everything correctly. I am still learning. I'm still kind of figuring out my own hair and what works on my own hair and stuff like that but i am gonna take you through the steps because i definitely was not taking care of my hair as much as i should have been when it was relaxed so the fact that i'm doing anything at all honestly is a step in the right direction so before we start the video be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video to let me know that you did enjoy watching me take care of my hair maybe i can give you some tips even though i really doubt that so without further ado let's get into my co-wash wash day hair routine. So first I start by getting my hair soaking wet. I mean, obviously you can't wash dry hair. Anyway, because this is a co-wash day, I'm just going to be using the OGX Argan Oil Conditioner. If it was a regular wash day, I'd be using that and then the shampoo as well. So when I wash my hair, I like to work in two sections. So I get a ton of conditioner on my hand and I just start to work it onto one side of my hair. And as I work it into my hair, I finger detangle as I go. This conditioner has a lot of slips, so I'm not yanking out too much of my hair, which is ideal. So I just do the same thing on the other side. Because obviously I can't see while I'm washing my hair, lol, I have no glasses on and I don't have a mirror in my shower, I like to work in a lot of product to the point where I can feel it while it's in my hair. On co-wash days, I definitely don't lose that much hair and what I do lose, I just stick it to the shower wall because I don't want it to go down my drain and clog my shower. I just don't need that stress in my life. So once I'm all done, I make sure to rinse out all the conditioner out of my hair. This is low-key my favorite and also least favorite part because just standing under the shower head feels amazing. Except for the parts where I have to get the sides of my hair. I don't know why, but I have this very irrational fear of getting water into my ears. I know it's very weird, but hey, it's just a feeling and if water's in my ears, I just start freaking out. But anyway, now that my hair's all rinsed out, let's move on to my next step. So right after my shower, I wrap my hair up in a little twisty turban and I sit around for like 30 minutes to an hour, just kind of letting it dry. So now that I'm back, my hair's like 30% dry and I put on a cute little dress that I always wear on my wash days because the ends of my hair are still a bit wet and I don't like getting my clothes soaked when I'm trying to do my hair. It's just such an icky feeling, I hate it. So now I'm going to put in my leave-in conditioner. So first I divide my hair into two big sections. Then on one side, starting from the back, I section my hair into three parts. Then I take a pretty big amount of leave-in and I work it into my hair pretty much finger detangling as I go. Then I move on to the other side and do exactly the same thing. Then when I'm all done, I let my hair air dry. My hair after drying for about two hours is 70% dry. So first to moisturize my hair, I'm using the Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream. And just like last time, separating my hair into two big sections, and then I start to work the product into my hair. I like to take my time with this because I really want my hair to be soft and moisturized since my hair can get really, really dry and it's just, 
not the best. So I use a generous amount and work in pretty small sections. So I just comb the product through my hair, making sure every single strand of my hair is moisturized because I really, really need it. So now I'm just moving on to the other side and doing the exact same thing. Once I'm all done with that, the next product I use is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Coconut Oil. I use this on my scalp to make sure that it's moisturized well and it smells so good. I absolutely love it. I take two pumps and I massage it into my scalp on one side. And then I do the same thing on the other side, just kind of making sure that the product gets everywhere on my scalp feeling nice, moisturized so that my hair can grow. It's a good feeling overall. This whole process takes me about 20 to 25 minutes. So my hair routine is almost done and at this point I am so tired. Because I did my hair at night and I'm about to go to sleep, I braid it and put it under my nightcap. So as always, I begin separating my hair. I put it into four big sections and then I braid each section. The braids aren't nice or anything, like they can look ugly, they're not very important. I just like to keep them in a braid to keep the job done so that I can be able to tuck them up. So then I just pin them up and put on my bonnet that makes me look like a literal grandmother. My hair routine is done. Wow, I'm so tired. Um... So I'm going to bed now, which is why I have my bonnet on. Usually if I did my wash day, I would just leave my hair out for the day and then wrap it up at night. But since I'm going to bed immediately, I'm just going to bed. So, never thought I would end a YouTube video wearing my bonnet. So guys, that was my co-wash wash day routine. This is what I do basically every wash day. If I'm doing something wrong, please tell me because I need to know because I don't actually know how to like do hair properly, I'm just kind of like figuring out what I can figure out with the products that I already have. If you have any recommendations as to what I should do with my hair while it's transitioning, because I am still trying to find the curl pattern, I'm still trying to like make it like look like curls, you know, the straight like relaxed ends kind of make that difficult. But if you guys have any tips for me, tell me what I'm doing wrong, please recommend some products. I'm so down. So, if you guys like the video, let me know down below as well so that I can make more hair related videos because I got nothing but time. So guys, if you like the video, make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below because it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to ring the little bell down below once you've subscribed so you'll be the first to watch when I upload a new video. Until next time, bye.